weather. These days the temperature is increasing day by day and buying an AC is too expensive at least for me. So I thought why not try making my own AC at home. So in this video I will show you how I made it step by step. So without any delay let's get started. First I took some sunboard sheets and carefully cut them into the sizes I need. Next, I got my hands on the refrigerators and cooling kit from the market. It came with a heat sink, a fan and other essential parts. Now the heart of the build, the thermoelectric model. I used a 6 ampere TEC model that I ordered from. Flyro.in. You can find the link in the description below. Before fixing it, I applied some heat sink paste on the larger heat sink. This helps improve the heat transfer and boost the cooling effect. I placed the module with the printed side facing up because that's the cooling side. And I added a little more paste on the top. Then I fixed the heat sink tightly using nuts and bolts. Then I attached the fan on the top of the heatsink and secured it with the screws. To support the cooling kit, I added two small sunboard pieces at the bottom of this kit. Before we get into the video, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, JSGMC. If you are building something and need parts like gears, bearings, JSGMC has everything you need in one place. They offer a wide variety of high quality mechanical parts at prices that are easy on your budget. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, JSGMC makes it simple to find the right components. They also provide fast shipping and even offer a custom made parts if your project needs specific requirements. And here's the best part, new users get a $70 coupon just for signing up. So don't wait, visit jlcmc.com and grab your free coupon today and start building something amazing with JLCMC. I got a square hole for the kit and round hole for the fan to blow here. After smoothing the edges with sandpaper, everything looked neat and clean. I used a glue gun to stick a fan into the place. Inserted the cooling kit and fixed it properly. Then I assembled the sunboard panels to make a full box and place the fan inside.
I connected all the wires in parallel, soldered an XT60 mail connector and insulated everything with electrical tape. Finally, it was the testing time. I powered the setup using a 10 ampere power supply, but the airflow was not enough and cooling was not great. So I made a quick fix, removed the top cover and added few sunboard pieces to create more space for airflow. See you in the next one.